Guys, look, Freddy Fazbear is drunk. Glamrock Freddy is drunk. I love the Five Nights at Freddy series, and I absolutely adore it. I've been a fan of the games ever since Markiplier came out with his first Let's Play video of the first Five Nights at Freddy's game. And that was during the time when the game blew up. All of my friends were talking about the game during 2014 and 2015. We've played all of the games that came out during that time period, from FNAF 1, 2, 3, and 4. Five Nights at Freddy's! A year later was when I kind of drifted away from the Five Nights at Freddy's series and missed out on other games such as Sister Location and the Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted game. But just recently, a new FNAF game was announced and released called Security Breach, and honestly, I never really cared about it at all at first. But when I watched the trailer, and was told that the game will be free to roam, like a free roaming FNAF game, I immediately got excited for the release of the game. We've been asking for a free roam FNAF game for years, and now we're getting one. This is Mario! From the moment when the game first came out, I immediately bought the game for 53 fucking dollars in Canadian. Well, now it's priced at around 43 dollars, because the developers made an oopsie whoopsie and fixed the currency pricing for the game. Luckily, I got my $10 back, so, you know, that, that's good, you know. I'm, I'm glad I got my money back. But yeah, I bought the game, played it straight through, and just finished the game at the time of this recording. And my thoughts on the game are meh. The game is alright. Now look, I know the biggest criticism that people have for the game is the amount of glitches, bugs, and crashes the game has. And honestly, that's one of my biggest criticisms of the game. My first playthrough of the game ended up with me being softlock in the laundry area with the bots while I was trying to run away from Chica. You know why? Because these damn curtains wouldn't move at all and were stuck there, just frozen. It was a wall, an invisible wall that I couldn't get through pretty much. I'm supposed to easily walk through there like normal, but it wouldn't allow me to go through. I tried so hard, but I couldn't. The game wouldn't allow me to. That and I got stuck in a brick wall afterwards. I like soup. So yeah, an hour and a half on my first playthrough, I had to start all over from the start again, restart everything, do the whole entire game again due to a soft lock in the game. So that was fun. That was really fun. I'm super, super happy about that. But I managed to play through the game afterwards kind of normally, kind of maybe. <laughs> Throughout the game, there were so many glitches and bugs when it came to Freddy and the charging station, to the moon drop freaky f randomly getting me while I'm inside the Freddy Fazbear, Freddy Glamrock Freddy suit or whatever the hell. It was so painful to deal with these bugs and glitches and honestly kind of ruined my experience with the game. Anyway, starting from this point, SPOILER ALERT! SPOILER ALERT! Skip to this time to avoid the spoilers! <laughs> Although when it hits 6am, you have a choice to stay or get out. So I stayed at the Freddy Fazbear Mall, I don't know what they call it in the game, and try to get the true ending with spring trap, glitch trap, afton, deformed bunny with human corpse in it. Seriously, what the f do people call this character anyways? So anyways, I clicked stayed and tried to get this true ending. And during this, the game won't allow you to save. So if you die, you would have to start all over again. Yeah, this is part of the game, you would have to start all over again if you die after 6am. And I avoided that, and I did a glitch to do so. Cause f you game, I wanna save and found a way to save while it is 6 a.m. Yeah, the game is that broken. Anyways, I got the secret true ending of the game first time. Let's f go, I'm a pro FNAF gamer, bro. Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Sankle Bite. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. And honestly, the ending was kind of mediocre. It was cool to be at the underground Fazbear Pizzeria location, all destroyed and stuff. And the whole cutscene with Afton getting taken away by OH MY GOODNESS! And whole place burning down. But it just ended like that. No explanation or anything whatsoever. Honestly, this is how the FNAF story and lore usually goes like in all the other games. They show you something, they tell you f you, that's all you get, and you will have to do some game theorist stuff to figure it out on your own. Which is why I don't like the FNAF story very much, and the lore itself. 
because it's usually just all over the place, doesn't make any sense, and it's up to the player to think what happens next or what happened before in the past. But yeah, besides the terrible game-breaking glitches, pricing of the game, and the lackluster ending, the game is still pretty solid, with lots of scary moments throughout the game, fun and exciting gameplay, as well as cool and interesting characters such as the animatronics. My favorite part of the game has to be where you have to get a security badge from the parts and service area, but you have to be careful and sneaky sneak around the place, because there's like 40 billion endoskeletons chasing after you in the process. So yeah, that made me piss and shit myself. The game has flaws, and honestly the game could have been the best Five Nights at Freddy's game out there. The perfect one that we've all been waiting for. But because of the glitches, length of the game, literally only 10 hours may I say, and the pricing of the game, it made the game less enjoyable. But I still had fun playing it, and I definitely recommend it to anyone who is a fan of the Final Nights of Freddy series. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll I will see you, see you in, in the, the next, next video. Bye bye! Game review, review, review. Guys, I played the new uh, FNAF, and it's pretty good.